my title said, Where Have I Been? Well, um, I don't know where to get started apart from just saying um, the last video that I made, I was on my way to a lovely vacation of which I had and I returned um, I think it was either the end of July or the beginning, the first part of August. And um, there's been some family drama with an elder. And it actually happened while I was on vacation. And um, that's when it really started. And then everything that had to uh, evolve had started from nearly, it was like sort of midway uh, uh, in July. And it continued on and it is still going on. And with all the things that was going on, um, it's a lot of legal issues, court issues. Um, it's still in the courts. Um, there's going to be a trial and guess what somebody's going to jail and they need to go um, I'm not going to get into all the pertinent particulars and locations and you know all of that stuff but what I would like to share with you is that if you have elders even if they are independent such as this elder is an independent woman she worked all her life in the um, law profession and um, she was a very smart woman and she acquired a lot and she acquired large sums of money and she was very frugal also knew how to invest the family had no idea of how much money she had but she had a friend and they and she thought this woman was her friend and this was not a fair friend this was supposed to be a real friend and this was a friend over decades and apparently this individual had I guess was planning and plotting to one day do what they eventually did um, a kidnapping took place um, they were removed from out of their home, uh, their property was put up for, on the market for sale, um, and where she was being held, um, there were other people being held at that same place, and... Anyway, I don't want to get too much involved with all these different types of things that I'm saying, but what I'm saying to you is um, keep in touch with your elders. Um, it's not that no one was not in touch with her because there was always communication. However, if you're living in one area and they're living in another area you know you're not there to be you know making that um, spot on check visit and um, I, I just can't say any more to you than to stay in touch with your elders um, make sure that they're always safe um know who their friends are if if that's possible 
Um, and when, when we first heard this story, it didn't really seem like it was true because it, it sounded so far fetched. It just didn't, you know, it sounded like something, uh, I don't even know if, if <laughs> because one of the attorneys said she's never seen anything like this. Um, and she said, this is not real. And it, it just, when we first heard it, we just thought, no, this is not true. You know, maybe this individual was having a nightmare. But guys, things are going on out here. Things are happening. Um, whether it's friends or, or strangers. The point I would like to get across is that the elderly are vulnerable for people coming to them and taking advantage of them. Um, taking advantage of wealth that they may have acquired and accumulated over decades of hard work, which when they retire, they deserve to sit down home, relax, be in comfort, travel, and do anything that they want to do, they should be able to do. So I'm not going to stay on any longer and rant about this, but <laughs> I just wanted to let you know uh, where I've been. My mind was just not subtle to even come on and have this little vlogging, this little chit chat to say where I've been, what I've been doing, but somehow in the process, in between all the different things that's been going on, I had been planning um, things for content projects that I want to do. And um, I'll be back up again and uploading, God willing, um, as early as next week. Um, as I said, um, there is, uh, this is a legal thing and um, it's probably going to play out for some time to come as we had been uh, told. Um, by the legal people. Um, this could take months. However, um, things have sort of slowed down or, or kind of tapered off a bit that the anxiety, the urgency, and the emergencies and all of that kind of stuff has basically tapered off, but there's still that um, legal procedures and process that has to go through. So I at least have been able to sort of calm down, collect my thoughts, and I've been thinking about you guys. Um, and I just really got back into watching um, some of my fellow creators on YouTube and that gave me my motivation to get started again and um, so look out for me um, uploading like next week I don't want, want to say what day but I will be uploading and for those of you who are brand new to my channel, never was here on my channel before, um, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. You have to hit the bell because then you'll always know when the notifications that I've uploaded a new video. So those of you who have also started to subscribe to my channel in my absence, I thank you, I appreciate you, I appreciate those who have um, been viewing my videos that I've already done. And I'd like to say happy, uh, happy anniversary to myself 
maybe even happy anniversary to myself because I've been on YouTube now for one year. So I've gotten my one year anniversary in. So until I see you again next week, take care, be blessed, and I'll see you.